is basically about, there's a bunch of different storylines, but the main storyline is about Reno, and she is a nightclub, like, dancer, and she basically is, she's an evan she's been an evangelist, and her friend is, um, Billy, and Billy is in love with Hope, but Hope is getting engaged to Evelyn. And so Billy kind of goes through this whole like realization about how he loves Hope, but he also is still friends with Reno, but he just, he goes through this whole like storyline and stuff, and it's very interesting to see how the characters form throughout the whole thing. My favorite song is Anything Goes because there's just like all these different lyrics in it that is like you never know what she's going to say next. A challenging moment would definitely be learning like all the tap dancing and like trying to get it down perfectly and also just like trying to like learn all my stuff. <laughs> I think Reno has a level of sass that like I hope I have in myself because I just feel like she's so awesome for that. Uh, I'm Liam Martin and I play Billy Crocker. Um, so it's about, it's actually about Billy Crocker. Uh, he's a stockbroker working for a company and he's supposed to sell these shares that his boss has given him, but he's, he fell in love with a girl. Well, this girl is engaged. So he sneaks on the ship in order to try to fall in love, get her to fall in love with him. And then it takes all twists and turns and you'll have to find out the ending. Irma on Anything Goes. Um, she's Moonface Martin's sidekick and she's very funny, she's very sarcastic, and she likes to boss the boys around. So my name is Bo and I'm a part of a sailor quartet in the musical. I'm a sailor on the ship and I help out the captain and I look for celebrities because, you know, we're severely lacking on those. It's fun because like you get a lot of action, you get a lot of character development, you get like all of these like interactions between people that you wouldn't see interact in like different ways. In tech week, it's a lot more than usual, but like this week we wake up, we go to school every day, and then after school we go to rehearsal and we're here until 8.30 tonight and we run the show and work on everything. But normally, we're only here until five. So, Betty Booer is my song, and I like it because I get to be really sassy with everyone in the show, and it's kind of just my moment to shine. Because it's such a fun song, and Irma is like convincing these sailors like she's not good but the sailors still want her and it's like this really fun song I'm Gracie Martino and I play Hope Hardcore she's kind of in the situation that she doesn't want to be in but the whole time she's she's holding on to hope basically she's engaged to a man that she doesn't want to marry she's not in love with him but when the man that she is in love with shows up on the ship, things get a little crazy. For me, I have to fake cry on stage, and I am not used to doing that, so that was definitely something that like was kind of hard for me. I'm still like getting better at it, as of now. So that's probably the biggest challenge. I'm excited for all of it. I'm excited for people to see it because it's something that like not a lot of people know, but I feel like that's like a fun part of the surprise. Um, I think it is uh, the following your heart doing, uh, letting that guide you, even when it's maybe not the, 
the thing that society tells you you're supposed to do or the thing that even maybe your family is expecting of you but following your heart that way. Um, friendship and looking out for each other and that friendships can uh, exist across genders, across uh, socioeconomic brackets, um, and that uh, laughter is often the best answer for things. It's a really big process. Crew does not come in until later because they don't really need lighting because we need time uh, for the cast to get their stuff down. And then when the crew comes in, we really just help put the show together uh, to make it audience ready. Well, when it comes to pulling the musical tailor, sometimes you have to align what the director wants with your own creative idea. And for someone that really does lighting, it does make things a little bit different for that. However, we are able to work out that and it makes the show sound really good. It, it takes a lot of steps, so it goes, it starts way back, and we started talking about this as a staff back, back at the end of the spring after last year's musical, um, and looking for shows that we thought would be a good fit for uh, the particular students that we have in the program. Um, and then you've got to secure the copyrights, and you got to do all those things, and so then all that happens, and we start to sort of imagine how it'll come together, and then we get into the fall and into the winter, and uh, we do auditions, um, and the crew starts working on the set and then we get into rehearsals um, and it is it's a lot of steps because they've got to learn the music from scratch they've got to learn all of the dialogue from scratch all of the dancing um, you know uh, weeks and weeks ago there was nothing on the stage it was just a blank stage and now there's a giant ship um, so it, it's pretty magical that it comes from just uh, people's imaginations and nothing in person to all of a sudden there's magic on stage. Um, but it's a long process, a lot of hard work, um, and a lot of hours, um, but incredibly rewarding and we're so excited for everybody to be able to see the show.